Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're opening up Costa Rican katydids. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now these are fresh off the plane from Costa Rica. This is rhinoceros katydid. These guys have amazing camouflage. Come here. So this beautiful katydid is bright green and it's living up in the forest canopies of Costa Rica and that's gonna be great camouflage. But these guys are very, very loud. They rub their wings together, they go chirp, 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 and that draws a lot of attention. So if something does see it and wants to eat it, they've got a big horn on their head, they'll fight it off. And they've also got huge mandibles. They can give a nice big bite to defend themselves if they need to. So most crickets and katydids and grasshoppers, they only eat plants. This is a really cool katydid because it's an omnivore. You could stuff this full of mealworms or crickets all day long and it would just gobble them right up. So this katydid does such a good job of showing this thing off. See that huge spike on the back right there? That's called an ovipositor. That's how these guys lay their eggs. All right, let's put her away and see what other katydids we've got. When we put her back, we have to be super careful that we don't accidentally squish those massive long Whoa! antennae. Sorry, lady. Watch your antennae. Watch your antennae. There we go. You good? You're good. All right, let's open up another katydid. This katydid has one of the best displays of camouflage on the entire planet. These guys are known as leaf mimic katydids. Oh, look at you. Look at this, they hold their antennae up like that so it looks like the stem of a leaf. If you look at the veins in their wings, it matches the veination of the plants where they hang out. In fact, this one even has a little window in its wings to make it look like another insect has been chewing through a leaf. That's not actually a hole, that's just a transparent segment of its wings. How crazy is that? And what's totally crazy is that they can change colors, look totally different from one molt to the next. Now, these are insects. Now, all insects, the way they grow is by growing a new skin on the inside of their old skin when they need to get bigger. Then their neck splits open, they pull themselves out of their old self. And when they do that, they can look completely different sometimes. This guy could go from green to black. And if she lost a limb somewhere along the way, she can grow it back the next time she molts. Now, this one's a female. And like that other Katie did, if you lift up the wings, you can see that ovipositor. See right there? That's how she lays eggs. Let's pull out a male and we can look at some of the differences between the males and the females. There we go. You're good. This is also a leaf mimic katydid from Costa Rica. Ooh, look, he's a little bit smaller and also you'll notice he doesn't have that ovipositor on the back side, right? Also note, he's green and brown. He's not just like a dead leaf. This looks like a leaf that's in the process of dying. How unbelievable is that? So the more variety they have in their camouflage, the more they look like the real thing. And the harder it is for predators to zero in on exactly what this insect looks like. So like all other katydids, the males will call to the females and they do that by taking their two wings where they overlap right on their neck and they rub them over each other like this. And you get this And the way that these guys hear each other is really cool. Their ears are not on their head like you and me. In fact, if you look close at their front legs, you can actually see this little thin membrane. That's a tympanic membrane that vibrates like a tambourine when they hear things. So their ears are actually on their legs. Awesome, that's all we've got for this time. If you like the video, like the video. Even better, share it with your friends and subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this in the future. And if we ignited a little bit of curiosity, leave a question down in the comments. We'll see if we can get to it or come down in person. We'll show you all these amazing animals in person right here at the Butterfly Biosphere at Thanksgiving Point. See you next time.